Good morning, Children Liturgy. Here we are, February the 14th. A very special Sunday. And also, as you know, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. In the Word document below, you'll find a craft, a Valentine craft. In the meantime, we're just going to spend a few minutes together this week to talk about the wonderful gospel, the gospel of how Jesus cures the leopard. You can see in this picture, there's someone holding his hands out. Yes, this man has leprosy and Jesus just touches him and cures him. But those hands could be our hands too, right? We all need God's healing many different ways. So let us pray to our dear mother in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Boys and girls, I hope that you're having a very wonderful Sunday. And as we move now, I want to read to you all the readings and the gospel. But first, I want to show you the statue I have of Jesus, Sacred Heart of Jesus. And you can see he's pointing to his heart. It has a crown of thorns. Jesus loves us so much that he came and he suffered and he taught us and he cured. He did so, so many things. And you all know the stories, but today is a story about a leper. A leprosy was a terrible disease in Jesus' time. There was no cure for it. They had to leave their home and their family and their friends and never come back. Can you imagine how devastating that would be? Not to mention the sores that were all over their bodies. And they lived in poverty on the outskirts of the city with other people with the same disease. People were afraid to contract it, so they sent them away and never to return. It's a very sad story. And you know what? Leprosy still exists today. Boys and girls, in the Word document below, you'll see a world map and where it still is today. We need to pray because there is a cure today. There is a pill that they can take. We pray for the end of leprosy, that people will find it in their heart to donate money so that people that have leprosy can be cured and to eradicate it from the whole world so it never ever returns. So let us do our readings in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The first reading is from Leviticus chapter 13. It is written in the law, people who have a scab or an open sore on their skin and it becomes leprosy must be brought to one of the priests. The priest must tell them that they are unclean because anyone with leprosy is considered unclean by the law. Those who have leprosy must wear torn clothes and must keep their heads covered. They must live outside the camp away from the other people. When they come into the town, they must shout out loud, unclean, unclean. They will be considered unclean as long as they have the disease of leprosy. This is the word of God. The Psalm today is 31. My God, my God, have mercy on me. My God, my God, have mercy on me. For all my hope is in you, my God. For all my hope is in you, my God. All my hope is in you. All my hope is in you. You see, I'm in trouble. You know what makes me sad. Together, my God, my God, have mercy on me. For all my hope is in you, my God. All my hope is in you. Oh God, you are my strength. My life is in your hands. My God, my God, have mercy on me. For all my hope is in you, my God. All my hope is in you. The Gospel Acclamation. Sing praises to the Lord, alleluia. Sing praises to greet the Lord, the word, alleluia. Your word brings us healing. It brings us new life. Alleluia, alleluia. The gospel today is according to Mark chapter 1, 
verses 40 to 45. One day, a man who had leprosy came to Jesus because he wanted Jesus to heal him. He knelt in front of Jesus and said, If you want to, you can cure me. Jesus felt very sorry for the man, and so he reached out and touched him and said, I do want to cure you. You are cured right now. The man was cured of his leprosy immediately. Then Jesus warned the man, saying, Now don't tell anyone about this, but go and show yourself to the priest, as Moses said, and make an offering, because you have been cured. But instead, the man went away and began to tell everyone what happened. Because of this, Jesus was not able to go into any town without being noticed by everyone. So he stayed outside of the towns, but people still kept coming from everywhere to see him. This is the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, boys and girls, that was an incredible story. Jesus, out of his love and willingness to help, cured this man and gave him his life back, gave him his health back, gave him back his family and friends. Now we are asked to rise to the same challenge. We're asked to love and help others. We're maybe asked to love people that aren't easy to love, people that maybe we don't get along with very well, or maybe we just don't feel like doing the right thing sometimes. But we need to help our families and our friends, and we have to help ourselves and do the right thing and help others. And sometimes that means we have to put our own wants secondary to something else. So think of one thing you can do on this special Valentine Day to help someone, surprise someone, maybe make a phone call to grandma and grandpa, or maybe make a card for a little sister or little brother or mom and dad. Do something special. Do you know what? It is better to give than it is to receive. May God bless you. In the Word document, you'll see a map of where leprosy still exists today. And let's pray that, that just we can find the financial aid, the resources to get rid of leprosy in the whole world. Let us pray to help each other, help us to be kind to each other and kind to our world and take care of our environment. We have so much that we can do. There's a million things that you can choose. Pick one thing a day for the next week. And may God bless you. Happy Valentine's Day. And we'll see you again next Sunday. Bye for now.